Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Cilletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 3.29 from the chapter number 3. The problem is implement the following four boolean expression with three half headers. We are given with four boolean expressions D, E, F and Z. Okay, and we have to use half header. How many half header? We have to use three half header circuit to realize or to implement these four functions. First of all, this uh, D is given as D equal to A XOR B XOR C. Okay, then we are given E. Okay, E is A bar B C plus A B bar c okay so how we can simplify it if we take c common we will get a bar b plus a b bar all into c then uh, then we can see that this is nothing but a bar b plus a b bar this is the xor operation so we can write it as a xor b all into c so this is one simplified expression now we have f f equal to a b c bar plus a bar plus b bar all into c okay so we have to simplify this so that we can implement with a half header circuit so we'll keep this term as it is a b c bar plus we can see that this a bar plus b bar is the expansion of a b whole bar using the morgan's theorem that is if we expand a b whole bar using de morgan's theorem we will get a bar b bar so we can write it as a b whole bar into c okay here also we can take like this because it is the multiplication operation okay here we can see that this term is nothing but a b bar plus a bar b expression so we can write it as this a is nothing but a b okay xor c fourth expression is g equal to a b c okay now in the question it is given that we have to use three half header so for before adding three half header i would like to uh, draw the half header circuit in a half header we have two inputs a b okay these are the supposed two inputs then we have xor get okay and here we get the sum okay because it is a half header circuit it is a header circuit so we'll get sum and then we'll have carry so carry how we'll find out this carry is nothing but a b so this is carry so sum is nothing but this is the xor gate okay so a xor b a xor b and carry is nothing but it is the n gate inputs are multiplied so we can write it as a b so this is nothing but a half header circuit we have two inputs and two outputs okay so now we have to implement these four expressions using three half headers this is the half header okay we can uh, here we saw that we have two inputs and two outputs okay now i will draw three half headers first suppose this one is one half header it's a L F half header okay this one is one half header it will have two inputs and two output okay for from this circuit okay then let us draw another half header because we have to use three half header so it is another half header okay half header i am writing in short form okay here also we'll have two inputs and two outputs suppose this is the sum and this is the carry okay this is the sum this is the carry here these are the two inputs suppose a b a b just like this okay then we will have a third half header suppose let me draw like this okay half header here we will also have two input and two output so we have to realize or we have to implement this given boolean function so first function is nothing but a xor b xor c if we give a and b as input to this half header first half header what we'll get this is first this is the circuit inside okay this circuit is inside each of these half header blocks okay so 
at this point what we'll get we'll get the sum sum is nothing but a x or b so here we'll get a x or b and in the carry output what we'll get it is a b a b now let us connect this so what we'll get that means this a x or b is the input here now to this half header now we'll give here another input that is c okay so a x a, a x or b is one input for this half header another input is c so what we'll get at the sum input we'll get the xor of these two inputs so we'll get one input is a xor b okay and another input is c so we have to do an xor operation between them and so we'll get here the function a xor b xor c this is nothing but given function d okay so this is nothing but given function d now we have this a b function okay suppose third input it is given to this input okay here also we will have c okay because i am just connecting this input and this carry output now it is given to the input port of the third half header about this half header one this is two and this is three half header so what we'll get so for this half header what we'll get this one input is c okay and another input is a b so at the sum input what we'll get a b xor c or c xor a b so we can write it as a b xor c this is nothing but the function f okay so this is the function f so we got the function f then we can see that for this function the here we will get the carry output so carry output is nothing but the multiplication of the inputs okay so you can write it as a xor b whole into c okay a xor b whole into c now let us see a xor b whole into c this is nothing but the function e okay so this is the function e and at the final output what we'll get uh, this is the carry output of this half header okay for this carry output we'll have to multiply these two inputs so we have one input is c another input is a b so we'll get here a b c okay this is a b c is nothing but is capital z okay so this is nothing but capital z so using these three half headers we have implemented the function d e f and z so thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you